guys, I'm Pam from Motoring. So we're going to take you over the next few weeks talking about how to care for your houseplants over the winter. Um, so the thing is, obviously the houseplants need to change as the cooler seasons come through. And so there's like really three topics we want to talk to you about. We want to talk to you about watering, temperature and lighting. Um, and today we thought we'd start with watering. So it's now time to change your watering schedule because houseplants require very little water in the winter. So today I'm going to take you through the do's and the don'ts. So let's start with the don'ts. You don't want to carry on with your summer watering routine. We want to water less so we're not causing root rot. You don't like a cold bath, do you? Because I certainly don't, and neither do your plants. So don't water straight from the tap. Make sure it's lukewarm water. The other thing is, would you like to stand out in the rain when it's cold in winter for a few hours? No, your plants aren't gonna like it either. Moving on to the do's. In winter, you want to surface water your plants. This is because in summer, when you let the water carry all the way through the pot, this is more likely to cause root rot in winter. We need the plants to be able to dry out fully between waterings. So the really best way to do it is think about watering for the top third to half of the layer of the plant. This is obviously going to change. Some plants don't like too much water, so like your stringy pearls, your cacti, succulents are going to need even less again and less frequency. So this is a bit of trial and error with your plants and making sure you're judging based on the size of your pot. A larger pot's going to hold the water longer than a smaller pot. So for something like this guy here, when we're watering him we only want to water enough where we're thinking it's going to reach to about the top third which is probably about that much you shouldn't have any water dripping at the bottom we don't and then chuck them back in your cover pot do water in the morning this gives your plants a chance to take up all the water so it's not sitting in water during the night do miss certain plants if you have plants like calatheas or palms because you've got heat pumps and fires going in the house it can actually start to dry up the leaves and that can cause burning so having a wee mister handy is a really good idea you just want to go along and give it a light misting over the plant. You don't want the water beading on the top because then it's going to start causing funguses and diseases within your house plants. You want a light drizzle on the top of the plant um, and that it dries out quickly. Now you may think, well, plants get rain in the tropical environments all the time and have water on the leaves. The difference is the airflow. So if you think about natural wind blowing, it gets those bits of droplets off, which means they don't get the funguses, but in the house plants, that's obviously quite different. So do water by weight. In winter it's really important to let your house plants dry out between waterings. So a really simple way to do is just to lift it up, have a feel. If it's heavy, don't water it. Um, and if it's light, then obviously it's time to give it a drink. The finger test is a really good way as well. So if you put your finger in the side of the soil and it comes out with soil sticking to it, then it's wet and it doesn't need a water. Um, if you did one like this and it's dry, then it does. Um, obviously some plants are different again, succulents and stuff don't want to be over watered so be cautious of that and if your house plants are too big and you're like oh, I'm not going to be able to lift that, come and grab a watering indicator, they will save your plants in winter. So over the next few weeks we'll take you through lighting, temperature and fertilising for winter as well so make sure you keep tuned. Thanks guys!